Okay, this is part two. It's basically just showing the browser. Okay, obviously Lewis one. Okay. Place flash and everything, so it's a good thing about that. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Okay, this is running off Wi-Fi at the moment, so obviously depends on how fast your Wi-Fi is. Okay, Let's see if we can get a. Okay, as you can see, the screen the screen's quite good for all, for what it is. You know, it's decent enough. Okay, Let's go back out. So hold that. So that's what that's that. Basically, if you hold it down, it just goes back to, um, just tells you what you've done last. So you, this is what we've done, we've been on MSN, we've been on my inbox, and the settings. Obviously, it just tells you what things you've done, done last. So just press back, back, and so on. Phone calls, okay, that just comes up. Otherwise, if you take that off, it will take that off. Basically, it's just a reminder of what SIM you've got on there. Uh, I've got a normal T-Mobile SIM. Uh, but it come unlocked, so you just anything, just, you know, you can just put them in. Okay, that's what it looks like when it dials. Okay. Top that call. Okay. As I said. There's two bits of sort of bloatware, what I would call bloatware. There's that market, which which is no good to anybody over in here. Um, and the other one is, I'll show you, is this one here. Okay, this other, again, it's a Japanese thing. Okay, but that's the only two things on there which are which you don't really want. So you might, if you look into it, you probably be able to take them off. Uh, as are your, all your widgets and so on. As I said, it's proper ice cream 4.0. Uh, everything else on it, uh, as I said, it comes very light. There's not really a lot on there. So basically, you have to you have to put all, put everything on there, which is good really. That's the way I like it. You put the stuff you want and get rid of the stuff you don't want. Uh, There's just some pictures I've taken. Just show you the camera. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're okay, not bad. Yeah. It's a five megapixel camera. It's not bad. Yeah. For for what it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing is yeah, this MX player, I downloaded this one. It comes with the Mobo player. Which is again, I think some Chinese one, so I deleted that and I just put MX player, or you can put any whatever player you want for your video files and stuff. Uh, okay, well, I will show you. I'll just show you some quick games of what it can do. Uh, and everyone, when they show, oh rubbish. Okay, that doesn't want to work. So let's show you this. When everyone shows you the games, they always show you for some stupid reason. They always show you Angry Birds, you know. Angry Birds. Angry Birds is okay for old machines. This is. I think it's got one gigahertz processor and dedicated graphics processor, so it's quite good. Let me skip this. You know, the best thing to do is just play the games and see what it plays. Some of them it plays, some it doesn't. But as I said, it's just like most modern, modern phones, because they've got different phones and everything, you've got different phones will work, different games and stuff. So just try them out and it'll work. But it can handle quite a lot uh, graphics wise. You know, Every, I would say about 95% of the stuff works. You know. Okay. 
Oh, fine. Yes, so. Yeah, yeah, come on. It's got a five point touch, so you know it's quite good. Works five fingers, capacitive, not resistive. So I'll just give you a quick, quick, quick show of what it can do. Right, it's telling me to, telling me to go over this way for some reason. You get the idea. So get that out of it. Let's go back, back, back. That will get us back out. Or just press the home button. Right, it just gets you back. Okay. See if this one works again. This was working last time. Don't know why it's not working now. Okay. I'll show you this shine run up. So obviously, this is like a fast, uh, sort of like tablets really. Okay. So this way, what was it? No. This game is meant for like dual core stuff, so seeing that this is only single core, you know, it's quite good, you know, graphics wise, you know, it's running fairly smoothly, no glitches. Turn the volume off a bit. As I said, the volume on this is quite decent, it's like it's like a tablet. If you've got a tablet, it's like a tablet. It's very loud. It's not it's like any. It's not like any other phone you've had. Work it from there, and you can work it from there. Okay, so yeah, this one. Okay, It's quite good for showing like how you know how responsive it is. So it's got five point touch you can see it's four. That's five. So you can see five things working at the same time. And so this here, is that at the moment it's what, sixty percent, seventy percent? Yeah. Fairly responsive. Yeah, five touch at the same time. Quite, quite good. Um, 
button there. Show you this one. This is an, another game, Games Loft. So usually these only run on like high, high end phones. So this one's quite good because it runs on here. I think this got voted best graphics for Android games. So. Can you skip this? No, we can't. Okay. Which means the good doctor is expecting us. Yes, I think nuclear As I said, the graphics quite good, quite decent for what the what the phone is. Okay. I think that's about it. Okay, like that. As I said, quadrant scores. That was about three and three thousand five hundred. Uh, that one was 2,500 so you'll get an idea of uh, what they are yeah. um. <coughs> I think that's about it really so as I said you can put everything else on there just download it from the market you know you can pinch your uh, folders together you know YouTube works and that's about weather that's about everything uh, comes with email client as well you know email you know it's obviously where you've got the tags there that means that you you know you haven't read it so you just click on it you know don't like it get rid of it delete it yeah that's about it really that's the uh, Samsung Note Cologne.